We call on all Nigerians, including the judiciary, to rise up and save Nigeria. For saving Nigeria is a collective toil. Yes. Let Nigeria win. One day is we have made consistent call for the cancellation of the presidential election, risking our lives amidst threats of attack by political thugs and violent merchants, some of whom have camped at the Unity Fountain. We have made presentations to the governments of the United States, Britain, and country representation of the United Nations, European Union, and ECOWAS. We have also held press conference to clarify our position on the declaration of an interim government when the ill-planned attempt by spying doctors to frame it as a call for military takeover began to build up heat in the polity. We have also held national prayers for the nation. But above all, we have maintained a non-violent stance in our bid to seek redress for our demand. Our demands remain the following. Sack, arrest, prosecute Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. Cancellation of the presidential election of 25 February 2023. Yes. Compensate all victims of electoral violence. Yes. The establishment of Truth and Reconciliation Committee in Lagos, another flashpoint of violence. Yes. Our resolve is built on truth faith, hope, and on the risky, if not suicidal, conviction that illegality will always bet illegality. Hardly can any Nigerian alive deny the outcome of the presidential election did not represent the will of the Nigerian people or amount to an abuse of suffrage. We all know the truth, but why are we not saying anything about it? What most Nigerians do not understand is that the people representing this evil against our country are deliberate and desperate. Their path is laid before them and power is their ultimate livelihood. It does not matter how many people are killed or how badly they, they pollute our ideological space with religious and tribal sentiments. As long as they get to power, they are fulfilled. Even now, they have made permutations for 2027 because in their mind, they own the country and Nigerians have nothing. Nigerians must see in this last election and even at this moment, an opportunity that is fast burning out. We cannot deny that the enthusiasm and dedication of Nigerians to participate in the 2023 general election and the political tsunami that followed, such as the sack of incumbent governors and parliamentarians, was a threat to the life of the old political order. In order to sustain their hold on power, they unleashed their age-long tactics of religious and ethnic sentiments. In some places, we turned on each other in other places, they unleashed their war dogs on hapless Nigerians who fled pulling units, abandoning the elections. But though one of us may lose, all of us cannot. We are as strong as our numbers and the courage with which we stand in the face of impunity. The Nigerian youth represent the most abused demography in the unlawful conduct of Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. He toiled with your trust, your faith, and your resilience on the credibility of the electoral process. He made you a ray of hope at the end of a dark tunnel, though he knew he was going to plug it as soon as elections were over. He was a league and in league doing the bidding of his masters. But the corrupt of the corrupt and evil old political order. They know that you will be angry. They know you will be traumatized. Yes, they know you will be uninterested, afraid. But above all, they know you will do nothing after the election results. 
were upturned and their desired winner announced. They did it to kill your spirit and believe in the possibility of a free and fair election because they know that if it ever become a reality, their grip on power and glutonous plunder of our commonwealth will perish. Maybe they have succeeded because the apathy that greeted the conduct of the gubernatorial elections were loud and deep. You did not come out, nor due to the fear alone, but because fear had bled faith and hope from your heart. Sitting here today, we are certain, but that hope can but courage if you let it. We were once like you, trapped and broken, lost in the inertia of political voodoo, pierced by the cruel spear of intimidation and reverse psychology, where lies are washed by truth by the evil of all political order, but we dare to raise our heads at the pain of losing our lives to take the stand for Nigeria. We implore you to do the same, to leave the pages of social media and join us on the street to demand for justice, yes. for equity and fairness. Yes. And while we hope that the judiciary will do what is appropriate for our country in terms of our laws. We cannot sit and wait for Uhuru to happen. We must rise up to make demands. We are not unaware of the actions of consciousless individuals held bent on imposing a regime of distrust and rancor on Nigeria and to call on them to desist forthwith. We cannot continue to water the lawns of emotional cannibals who raise and rise to power on the blood of ordinary Nigerians. The recent comments by Professor Wale Shoinka is the most unfortunate and regrettable. While we do not frown at his remarks because of any political party or politicians or movement reference, we do so because of his emotionless detour from the real issues of the elections to pursue what appears as selective witch hunt. It is on record that Professor Wole Shoenka never condemned the shameless episode of ethnic profiling, intimidation, and hate speech by elements such as Muslimu Akinsonya, aka MC Oluomo, Bayo Ononuga. FF, Kayo Day, and a host of other atrocious persons. All their actions are not fascists. Nor did he condemn Professor Mahmoud Yakubu's instance on flaunting INEX guidelines, the Electoral Act, and his rush to declare a winner. It is sad that when it matters the most, the voice of our dear prof, whose books and thoughts form the base of academic pursuit by some should breed reason on the polity. He chose to stand with the oppressor in the burning house, enjoying a rat chase. The prof should be a father to all Nigerians, irrespective of ethnicity, religion, party, or social affiliation. However, he has betrayed the trust of many Nigerians who before now hold him in high esteem. Yeah. We therefore call for the boycott of his books, yes. articles and events, yes. and all public engagements yes. that celebrate his literary achievements, which as of today do not recognize the well-being of the ordinary Nigerian. Yes. We need role models, not sellouts. Yes. The international community, especially Europe and America, must understand that despite the prescribed neutrality based on diplomatic ethics, will be the most affected if anything happens to Nigeria's democracy. The weight of human energy that will mob your borders 
will be as never imagined. We frown at the rush of most of the diplomatic communities to congratulate our next president elect. Select. This action will further embolden the ponderous of the will of Nigerians to hold on to the stolen victory. We therefore call for discretion forthwith. Finally, finally, may we reinstate our commitment to a united, democratic, prosperous Nigeria. We are moved by this commitment to call for answers to the evil of 1st of March 2023, a very traumatic moment in our history. For that day, the sanctity of what should ordinarily be a free and fair process was buried in the sands of impunity. That declaration by Professor Yakud Mahmoud remains a dark moment in our history. Little wonder the nation responds with mourning. Our country has been on the perilous journey since then.